So we got some news that just came out from Adam Schefter. I missed it initially. I forgot to turn my Do Not Disturb off this morning. But I turned it back on and was immediately notified by Adam Schefter here. Saying Green Bay Packers released wide receiver Amari Rodgers and running back Kylan Hill. So I'm a little surprised about Kylan Hill. But to start off with Amari Rodgers. The Packers, of course, draft him the last year. Third round draft pick. And I think there were some high expectations. Because the third round pick, you, you know, you'd expect to see... Um, at least some um, something in the, in the first couple of years. But Amari Rodgers has definitely struggled, especially when it comes to his punt returns. The Packers gave him many, many chances this year. I mean, a majority of the year. And he's fumbled the ball, I believe, five times overall, um, I, I believe is his stat. So he's really struggled. Um, we saw it again last this past game against the Cowboys, uh, fumbling, big fumble. And the Packers are lucky they were able to come back from that um, mistake because that was a big mistake in the third quarter by Amari Rodgers, and many people were discussing Amari Rodgers and sort of shocked that he hadn't been replaced considering the times he'd fumbled before. And so yesterday, Matt LaFleur talked about in a press conference that they will be evaluating who's going to be the punt returner from now on. I didn't necessarily expect Amari Rodgers to be cut just because the Packers took so long to you know, fill someone else in at his punt return spot. We saw Keyshawn Nixon come in after Amari Rodgers fumbled that ball. And so it, it clearly is the end for Mari Rodgers here in Green Bay. I'm a little shocked they full-on cut him, um, but I guess they haven't seen what they've wanted to. He hasn't really done much on offense. I think even last year, before Randall Cobb came into Green Bay, before the Packers traded for him in the offseason, there was some thought as to, okay, he sort of seems like a Randall Cobb-type player, uh, slot guy, and when Randall Cobb came, he definitely got less opportunity. But um, then looking at this year, we thought with, you know, Devontae gone with the um, with more opportunity at the wide receiver position, maybe Mari Rodgers would start to get some playing time and would produce a little bit. And even recently with Randall Cobb out, he hasn't really been able to do anything. This past game, I think he had one offensive snap. So the Packers clearly haven't seen what they wanted to from him, and they've already decided to cut him just in his second season overall. So I would never, you know, I, I wish nothing but the best for Mari Rodgers. I would never hope for anyone to be cut from a roster, but it happens from time to time. And unfortunately for him, he has struggled uh, during his time here in Green Bay. And I, I hope that he improves and is able to, you know, find a find a place to go somewhere in the future um, because I still think he has some talent and ability. We'll just see if he's able to, um, you know, work it out in the future. And then to talk about Kylan Hill being released, I didn't, didn't expect this one. Um, of course, Kylan Hill tears his ACL last season. He recently came back in the past couple weeks, and um, now the Packers have decided to release him, which I, I think Kylan Hill is a very talented young running back. And the Packers clearly already have, you know, two legit running backs in Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. So they probably assume they don't need to hold a third running back there in Kylan Hill. And so um, same for Kylan Hill. I feel like he has lots of potential. We saw it last year before we got injured. And I feel like we saw it this year a little bit as well. He has speed. He has the ability to, you know, change direction pretty quick and shifty. So we'll see if he um, ends up on another roster. But two moves for the Packers today. I'm curious to see if they're going to, pick someone else up you know is there a reason they drop these two guys maybe they have a plan for an addition um I was just hearing about I was watching the Pat McAfee show a second ago I think Aaron Rodgers is about to be on there because it's Tuesday so it's Aaron Rodgers Tuesday so I'm gonna go watch that but they were discussing Odell Beckham Jr and you know after this past I mean early in the season it, it seemed like maybe the Packers would be a team that Odell could want to come to because we saw him tweet about it a little bit said it would be you know great to play with Aaron Rodgers we saw Aaron Rodgers discuss Odell as well and now, it seems like Odell will pick a team in the next three weeks. If the Packers can keep up what they did against the Cowboys yesterday, maybe Odell would be interested in Green Bay. Who knows? Um, but just something to think about. So, um, those are the moves that the Packers have made today. I'll be out with any more Packers news, as always, in the future. So, feel free to subscribe if you've yet to subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys next time.